Well, what would you think is your most uh, important piece of legislation that you've worked on down there that is important to the voters? Yeah, boy, that's really a tie between two pieces of legislation, civil asset forfeiture reform and constitutional carry. But I'll, I'll go with constitutional carry just because it took so long. It took, took so much effort to get us where we are today. Uh, my my first year in the legislature, I remember introducing constitutional carry, and I think I only had maybe like six or eight co-sponsors on it. It was very, very few people wanted to put their name on that bill three years ago. And uh, basically, quite, constitutional carry just says, you know, you have the right to carry a firearm uh, without having to purchase that right back from the state government. Constitution is really clear on that. It says the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So having to purchase a permit in order to bear your arm is, to me, a clear and obvious infringement of our constitutional rights. So I introduced legislation to change that, and you should be able to carry a pistol concealed on your person or in your vehicle without getting a permission slip from the government. And yeah. it took. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, doll. But I think I've actually emailed you that over the years because so telling you how much I support that because yeah, I, I have to go pay thirty five dollars every five years. You right. know, you have to pay the, them to carry something. You know, to carry a gun. To carry a gun. And so I. Uh, I appreciate you doing that, and I hope that um, eventually you can get that care get that passed. Well, 